Hello students, welcome to my channel. Let's fly high. Today I am going to start with chapter number eight, that is natural resources and their conservation. So let's start practice questions of chapter number eight. What the first question is? First question is in grit and sand removal tank of sewage treatment plant. Option A, solid heavy objects like sand, stones, grit etc. settle down at the bottom and are removed. B is floatable materials like oil and grease are removed. C is sludge is deposited with the help of anaerobic bacteria. And D is air is circulated through the water. So in this question, we have to find the what the in what the grit and sand removal tank of uh, sewage treatment plant does. So the correct option is option A. Why? Because because in grit and sand removal tank, speed of the incoming water waste is decreased so that the solid heavy objects such as the sand grit stones etc settle down at the bottom and they are removed from it next question is question number two which of the following is correct match so uh, what are the options infiltration groundwater bavaris and aquifer Equ aquifer and uh, what are their matches are traditional system of water harvesting water found below the water table seeping of water into the ground air water that has yet not seeped into the ground so in this question we have to find the correct match so we know that filtration is the seeping of the water into the ground so this is the match of it and beverage is traditional water harvesting system it is the traditional way where we harvest the water in which we harvest the water and the ground water is the rain water that has not seeped into the ground this is ground water and what the uh, aquifer is water found below the water table that is the, the water that gets stored under the uh, hard rock and uh, between the layer of hard rocks so these are the correct matches and uh, our correct option will be option B now next we move to the third question which of the following statements are correct we have to find the correct statements so let's go through the statements what are the statements first deforestation results in soil erosion okay we know this is correct option see we have to find the correct option okay now next statement is clay soil is not suitable for rice cultivation due to its high water holding capacity so clay so uh, as we all know that clay soil is suitable for the rice cultivation due to its higher water holding capacity so this not is wrong one so this statement is wrong and loamy soil can hold sufficient water uh, sufficient air and water for the growth of the plants yes we all know that uh, and the fourth is the organic matter like dead and decaying remains of the plants and animals present in the soil make the soil infertile 
so this statement is also wrong as we know all that the organic matter like that and decaying remains of the plant and animals present in the soil make the soil fertile not infertile so this is also the incorrect part so from this we can make out that question number sorry the option number b is the correct option now the fourth question is read the given statement there are two statements are given and we have to find the correct statement between these statements correct option so what is the statement one statement one says cotton needs sandy loam soil that drains well and can hold air okay and statement two is the crops such as wheat are grown in the fine loamy soils because they are rich in humus and are very fertile so we all know that cotton jo uh, that the cotton is it it uh, it needs the sandy loam soil okay and uh, the crops such as wheat are being grown in these uh, uh, loamy soils because why because they are very rich in the humus and are very fertile so option a will be the correct option because both the statement 1 and 2 are correct now we move to the option d read the given passage and select the correct option to fill up the blanks so the passage says decomposers play an important role in dash of nutrients bacteria and dash are the examples of decomposers that break down the dead remains of the plants and animals through this process nutrients are released into the dash from where they are absorbed by the dash of the plants so there are four uh, uh, fill in the blanks uh, in the passage and we have to find the correct one so again we have to move to this uh, decomposers play an important role in the decomposers uh, what the uh, what is the role of decomposers composers they do the recycling of the nutrients and bacteria and dash are the examples of fungi uh, decomposers that break down the dead remains of the animals and plant through this process that the uh, uh, the remains of dead plants and animals are being broken down by whom by decomposers which are they they are bacteria and fungi now the process the through this process what the nutrients are released into the soil and from where they are absorbed by the roots of the plants so the the uh, the um, roots of the plant absorbs these nutrients so option d will be the correct option study the given food web what it says that wheat plant there is this web is been shown over here it says it has a, this is the wheat plant okay then there are two um, possibilities p and s from p it moves to r and from r it be, it goes to s and there is one more uh, variant that is q and what it is from q to r and from q to s from p to s and from p to q okay so what the question is the decomposer uh, composer is represented by so in this web diagram we have to find the decomposers what the decomposers do decomposers operate all the levels in a food web ultimately what a decomposer is the main thing in the food web so which operates everything so if we go through this web we find that s is operating all the levels see wheat plant is also going to s p is also through s then q is also ultimately going to s and r is ultimately going to s so s is the main part of the this web so web uh, food web so the option will be option a seventh question says match the column 1 and column 
and select the correct option from the given codes. Column one and column two are uh, P, Q, R, and S. P is ground, Q, D, forestation, R, forest floor, and S, A, forestation. And there are the four options: cutting of trees on a large scale, planting of trees on large scale in a area where there is no trees. soil covered with the layer of dead and decaying leaves fruit seeds etc and branchy part of a tree above the trunk so if we if we have to find the correct option the correct code for this so let's start p crown crown will be yes it is the branchy part of the tree above the trunk we all know the, the there is a crown above the trunk of the tree then deforestation what is deforestation it is the cutting of trees on large scale then next what is forest floor forest floor is soil covered with the layer of dead and decaying leaves fruits seeds etc that the top layer of the Uh, of the soil is called the forest floor then s is a forestation a forestation means we all know that planting of the trees on large scale in the area where there is, were no trees so this is the correct um, the correct match and uh, by going through this match we can find that option c is the correct option of this question now we move to the question number 8 which of the following graphs correctly depicts the change in the temperature of water on heating uh, now here a graph is being given a and b c and d in a these graph shows the ratio between the temperature this is the temperature and this is the uh, this is the horizontal line is the time and the vertical line is the temperature so Uh, in this we can see that it goes uh, slant then it gets uh, horizontal then it's uh, from the half way uh, then it moves like slanting then in c it is from top from 100 degrees celsius it goes down then in uh, d option it shows a a curve this okay so now what what is the question we have to see which of the following graphs in these graphs we have to correctly depict the change in the temperature of a water on heating so now we have gone through all these graphs we find that what exactly change uh, in which graph we can see that there is a change of a temperature of water on heating when we heat the water so if we go through this we find that when the water start heating initially it's uh, uh, at the uh, low temperature then at one point it is 100 degrees and when it start heating then it will remain the same temperature that is 100 degrees so this depicts the option a depicts the um correct representation okay so question 9 says read the following statements and select the correct option there are two statements given then we have to find the correct option in it so cooking oil and fat should not be thrown down the drains option say uh, one states that we should not throw the quick quick uh, co uh, cooking oil and fats it within the drains and statement 2 says cooking oil and fats get hardened and block the drain pipes so we all know that the if we throw these cooking oils and fat products into the drain what they do is they join with each other and become very hard and because of this the drains get blocked the drain pipes get blocked so statement 1 and 2 are the are true and the statement 1 is the correct explanation of statement x uh, one now let's move to the question number 10 refer to the there is a um, pie diagram is given uh, of the composition of soil sample now 
we can see it is more than half is of the sand then one quarter is of clay and more than quarter is silt now we have to find the um, question is which of the following statement is correct regarding this soil sample now after seeing this pi diagram we have to find which of the statement is correct in it so point a it can trap very little air it can be plowed easily but it cannot hold nutrients it is high in humus content it is used in pottery so in the given soil sample mainly we see that mainly there is sand the proportion the ratio is of more there is more of the sand and clay and silt are present in very small quantity and this clay and this silt they are very less in quantity so this is the characteristic of sandy soil so we know this is the sandy soil now it and in sandy soil we know that it can be plowed easily but it cannot hold nutrients since it is a sandy soil it does not hold nutrients it goes drain out so point number b will be the correct point now we move to the question number 11 the physical state of water x and y in the given figure a figure is given and we have we can we see the physical state of x and y is shown okay okay this is x and this is y um there is water body and uh, the evaporation is going on then x after x uh, there is condensation in uh, converted into y then there is precipitation and uh, from this precipitation again uh, the, there are trees then there is transpiration is going on uh, into x and this precipitation is also going into water body so from this we can easily make out that it is of a diagram it is of the water cycle now during in this diagram this is question number 11 okay so in this diagram what is now they are asking x and y what x depicts and what i represent oh sorry what y represent in it so during transpiration and evaporation water vapor is gone out we see that in during the process of transpiration and uh, evaporation these two are going on the water vapors are given out hence x kya hoga x will be the water vapor it means x will be the gas and water vapor condenses when it gets condenses which will get condenses water vapor will get condenses to form the water droplets precipitation is going on it means rain will uh, it will become rain and that is uh, precipitation will be there so water droplets will be formed which will fall on the ground so that will be in the liquid form rain is in the liquid form so the correct option is option c now the 12th question which of the following are the consequences of deforestation what are the uh, consequences of deforestation d certification loss of biodiversity overgrazing increased industrial development floods so and there are the four options are given we have to find the consequences of deforestation so d desertification and loss of biodiversity and floods are the uh, are the consequences of deforestation whereas overgrazing and indust and increased industrial develop development are caused by the deforestation these are the causes of deforestation so the correct answer is option number c 
that is de uh, desertification loss of diversity and flood these are the consequences now next we move to the question number 13 there is a figure we have to add uh, figure x and uh, select the correct option regarding it we have to find the correct option for it in x an aerobic bacteria is used to decompose the waste you know what is the um, this uh, this is the figure of this is the uh, figure of compose uh, compositing toilet okay so it is a dry toilet that uses a predominantly aerobic processing system that treats excreta typically with no water or small amount of water so co compositing or managed aerobic decomposition so in this option x uh, option number second will be the no so um so the x uses predominantly aerobic processing system to decompose the excreta and it uses no or very small amount of water in it so the option b will be the correct option question number 14 says which of the following diseases are caused due to the consumption of contaminated water contam if we drink the contaminated water then what all diseases can be caused dengue and uh, diarrhea pneumonia and chicken pox malaria and common cold typhoid and cholera so the answer is typhoid and cholera because diarrhea typhoid and cholera are caused due to the consumption of the contaminated water but in this diarrhea there is the option of dengue also and we all know dengue is caused by the mosquito so there will be the correct option is option d question number 15 says which of the following represents the correct food chain so there are four food chains given we have to find the correct food chain from this orchids mice moths owl grass grasshopper frog snake peacock maize plant bird butterfly fungi mushroom vulture snake cotton plant snake doesn't eat cotton plant butterfly to fungi no then orchid mouth moth then orchids to mouse no moth owl no then this is the correct option the grass to grasshopper then uh, it is eaten by frog then frog by the snake and snake by the peacock so this is the proper food chain so students that's it from chapter number 8 hope these practice questions are helping you a lot and you are practicing with me in next video in the second part of this video i will be covering the achiever section and uh, the nso 2021 few questions of it so stay tuned with me i will in just in the next video i will be uh, covering these questions so till then if you like my videos please do subscribe it and keep practicing thank you